There we are, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, too many people are going to argue with that. No, they can't. There may be people pushing I for number I put her number one, but, you know. Honestly, she, she yeah. could easily be. Look, I'm a big Roger Federer fan. Like, the yeah. biggest Roger Federer fan possibly out there. And there's an argument to say she isn't just the best female tennis player of all time. And I know some will probably say, look, Margaret caught one more, more mm. Grand Slams. Um, but I think she could be the best tennis player mm -hmm. of all time. Uh, 23 Grand Slam titles. Again, more, more, most by anyone in the Open era. Uh, 14 double Grand Slam titles, two mixed double Grand Slam titles, four Olympic gold medalists as well. And I think the good thing about her, I just mentioned Roger Federer, and look, for me, in terms of just watching someone, he, he's fantastic. But the only criticism about Roger Federer is that he didn't do much on clay because of a certain, obviously, Rafael Nadal. I know he won one Grand Slam. Mm. Her Grand Slams are spread over all surfaces. Mm -hmm. um, they, they even called it what, the Serena Surface Slam because she literally just dominates on everything she plays on. I think what she did, especially when you think of tennis in the 80s, it was very much serve and volley and it was very pretty and it was quite slow, I think some people would say. Mm. Then you had the era in the 90s with Steffi Graf and Monica Seles. She ramped up another, mm. another 100 miles per hour in terms of her speed and strength and power alongside her sister Venus and just the longevity in the game as well. I think yeah. she's And she insane. still hasn't retired. I mean, she's been saying recently, I, I, I could be coming back. You know, she's she's, she's desperate to, right? Yeah. I mean, what's what, she, 41 now? 41 and I think what pains her as well is that Margaret Court has 24 Grand Slam titles yeah. and she always wanted to get that whether or not she's got enough in the tank to get one more is a, is a question I don't know I guess we can only answer it if she maybe competes again but she's insane she I think really the is. utter domination yeah. of of her sport mm. she's unbeatable She'd, yeah. be, uh, she, she'd be anybody in history. Yes. There's nobody better than her in history. And I think she's the only person on your list, Daddy, to have won one of her t uh, titles whilst pregnant. Yes. I think I'm right. <laughs> yeah, you you yeah. are correct. The Australian Open. Unless Floyd Mayweather's not telling <laughs> yeah. us something. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> does seem unlikely. No, no. She's, yeah. um, she's a phenomenal insane. tennis player. And what she's had to, what, what she has to break through in that sport as well to, yeah. to, to, to get where she's got and how yeah. she's learned to learn those skills. And you watch. And you know, just you can, a, you if you factor in that sibling rivalry, I mean, yeah. look, it can be something. That does you, help. You, you, well, it kind of does. And it, you know, it's, it's, it brings a, it brings a different sort of pressure. You know, mm. I mean, it's quite difficult from, from that point of view and I mean it was the times when they would play each other I yeah mean, it was always it was the worst spectacle that yeah because I always felt like big sister Venus was almost letting little sister Serena off because there was a time when I mm. thought Venus was the best I think Venus what does she win six or seven Wimbledon grands uh, Wimbledon titles as well and I always thought that she was the best so it was never really a spectacle but then it almost showed if, if Venus wasn't around you could be mm. talking about 30 grand slam titles for Serena but that's why they are unbeatable at doubles. I mean, all the doubles titles she won, so the mixed, sorry, the doubles titles she won, all four teams were with Venus. So at doubles, they were just unbeatable. You couldn't touch them. But yeah, I mean, look at that family. I mean, how many grand slams just that family brought to the mm, table yeah. was incredible. And um, yeah, if anyone, are, if anyone's, can I just, if anyone sends me a tweet, yeah, <laughs> saying gonna, she's not number you're two, you're gonna is get the tweets. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, get yeah, the yeah. tweets. You're gonna get the block button. You're gonna get the mute button. All right, <laughs> it's opinion. I've, I've Sport seen, is about opinion. I've not seen the Will opinions. Smith film yet, but it's supposed to be very good. Have you? Have, is, have you? Guys I have. Seen I it? have, is and I, I guess it highlights um, the struggles of them just getting into the sport. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, look, there aren't that many. I mean, I know people will reference Arthur Rash and a few others, but there aren't that many black people that play tennis, so it's mm. a difficult sport for them to get in. It's still, in some parts, because it's an elitist sport. So for them to then not just mm. break through, for yeah. two of them to break through, yeah. Yeah. and then to go on and dominate the way they dominated sort of tennis for 15, 20 years, she, she had to be number two. And, and you're right, I, I could have made an argument for her to be number one, but number one is number one. Right. Do you know what I mean? Number one's right. a banker. But um, no, no, she, yeah. she, she really is up there, and I, I'm just happy that... We get to talk about her, and, and I would love to see her come back again for a, maybe another year or so. Mm. But we'll see. That sort of sibling rivalry. I mean, I'm sure you have as well. But we've spoken at different times over the years to to both the Klitschko brothers, mm. and they both say exactly the same thing. Would you ever fight each other? And then they say, "Would you break your mother's heart?" Oh, yeah, That's the yeah. one they always come yeah. back with. But it's different. Look, a fight can be made or it can't be made. But when you're in a knockout tournament and your sisters, what can you do? You, you have to play each other. But this is the thing you? with tennis. They play so much mm. all the time yeah. Yeah. if you're a professional tennis player you are basically playing week in week out for yeah. sort of 49 mm. week, weeks a year and so they play so much to have that domination over such a long time so regularly yeah. is, is, in, is incredible she was sort of, uh, world record number one for a combined 391 mm. sorry 319 weeks and she was consecutively world number one for 186 weeks 
no one could touch her. No one could touch her. Uh, she, again, and the thing is as well, it's not like there weren't great players around. It's not like she's got, not competing with great players. You think of the likes of, I don't know, Martina Hingis towards sort of the start of Serena's career and Sharapova there as well. There were people that won other Grand Slams. Whereas like, I guess with Federer and Nadal and Djokovic, that was really it. Yeah. But for them, Grand Slams are spread over about 15 ladies and she still dominated them. Mm. She still did. I wonder what odds you'll get. Her daughter's five, isn't she? <laughs> Yeah. Um, I wonder what odds you'll get on her daughter to be a Grand Slam winner. Well, It'll be interesting to see if she wants to... It'll be interesting to see if that's the sport she puts her in. The trouble is that tennis rewards people who've had to have a bit of grit and a bit of fight in their childhood <laughs> very, very much. You know, mm. tennis always... A lot, a lot of tennis champions have nothing as kids, you know, yeah. and, and, and they, they come through because they've got to fight, they've got to battle the way through. So to have that privilege of... Serena Williams as your mum, who's a, and, and assuming, Venus is your and auntie. Venus your auntie, yeah. And yeah to have hundreds difficult. of millions. Well, she wants someone to you knock up that. with to see if she's any good. <laughs> 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 she's, she's got options. She? She has, she's she not going to be hitting it against the wall no, 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 for no, no, a no. couple of hours. No one would play with me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's funny you say that though, because you do need. And when you watch those two, Serena in particular, you, you see that grit. Yeah, you see where she's come from and yeah. that not mm. giving up. And sometimes she's maybe crossed the line a little bit. I think was, we've had a few incidents, especially at the U.S. Open. But that's what's got her to 23 Grand Slam titles, that kind of never-say-die attitude. And again, that's why she is undoubtedly mm. my, my number two. 